In this problem, we have an aluminum ruler that has these dimensions for the height and base for the cross section of the ruler. We place this ruler on a block so that it's cantilevered and the cantilever length is 0.22 meters long. We then place a block on the ruler at the very end teetering so that the force is concentrated at the very end. This block has a mass of 0.183 kilograms, which converts to 1.795 newtons of force. We want to find the deflection of this ruler after the block is placed on it. Deflection is how much the end of the ruler moves downwards after the block is placed. To solve this problem, I'm going to look up the beam deflection case in a table. You could also use an internet search. Doing so, we get that the deflection should be equal to the load times the length of the cantilevered beam cubed divided by 3 times the modulus of elasticity of the material times the planar moment of inertia of the cross section of this ruler. So let's first find the modulus of elasticity. This can be found by a table or internet search. We get a modulus of elasticity of aluminum of 69 gigapascals. Recall from our previous video that the modulus of elasticity is the stress over the strain of a material. This is much like Hooke's law in that if we multiply our strain or change in length over the original length, we get the amount of pressure that will require to result in that much strain, assuming within the elastic proportional limit. We next need to find the planar moment of inertia for our rectangular cross section. We could use calculus or we could look it up in a table. We get that the moment of inertia is the base times the height cubed divided by 12. So basically, the planar moment of inertia is the resistance for an object with the given cross section to bend. Notice in this video how we can reorient the ruler and how the force is applied to cause the ruler to be more rigid. We have increased the planar moment of inertia by flipping the sides. Plugging in our height and base, we get the displayed value. Now we can plug in all of our numbers that we found into the max deflection formula. Pressing the enter key on our calculator, we get a deflection of 4.94 millimeters. Now let's see how this compares to our experimental values. I took a measurement before the block was on the beam, and a measurement after the block was on the beam. Taking the difference of these two values, we get a max experimental deflection of 4.63 millimeters which leaves us with an experimental error of 6.28%. If you are completing an experiment like this, I recommend putting weights on the supported end of the ruler and also making sure that there's a sharp 90 degree angle that the ruler is resting on before it goes off into the cantilever. That concludes this video. Hope that I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.